Hi, hey, let's talk about uh, raw format images. If you are experienced and you know what raw format is, you can skip along, uh, that's okay. Uh, if you have never heard of it or a little bit unclear why raw is so important, uh, stick around, let's uh, explore it in this video with some examples. All right, uh, raw versus JPEG. Uh, Raw's evil twin is JPEG. There's nothing wrong with a JPEG, okay? And often people will shoot both. So let's talk about the differences. Uh, the real world, you have lots of information coming in, right? Like there's lots of tone and color and, okay, all sorts of information that your camera can absorb through the sensor, okay? Way more than it can put into the little rectangle that is your image. Okay, so it's gathering loads of it. And that's what you're doing. You're adjusting all the settings to see what of that information you want to keep and what you want to throw away. And that's what you do when you hit click on a JPEG. Okay, you decide, you make a decision on the, you know, the, the color, the exposure, the lights, the darks, the highlights, what you're gonna do. Okay, like this image here, you, you know, if I go, if I make this video, you can shoot raw video as well. So if I make this like super dark, okay, or super light, I probably want it somewhere in the middle like this. Okay, so you make those decisions, you take a snapshot, and that's great, you got it, you're done. Okay, what RAW does is it actually captures more information than that little rectangle can, you know, you, that you can see on that rectangle. It's like going back in time. You can open up your RAW image and go, actually, I wanna change my exposure. I wanna make it darker or lighter, okay, or somewhere in between, or mask parts out Okay, mask me out so that the background's darker and the foreground is lighter. Okay, so it gives you more, you know, uh, information to work with. You can only ever see the one rectangle, but you can kind of go for forwards and back and find the parts that you want, kind of exaggerate different parts. So that is, is that a good example of what a raw? Let's just, I'll show you in Lightroom, eh? I'll show you some good and bad examples of raw versus JPEG. All right, so you can play along. Um, and in Lightroom, I'm gonna open up my Photos tab and I'm gonna add some photos. And what you'll see is in the exercise files, there is a raw folder, O2 raw. And I want to bring in everything from this folder. And what you might notice is that there's actually only two images, okay, a JPEG and a raw version of it, okay? Um, same photograph, um, yeah, two different formats. And you're like, I can see JPEG. What, that's not raw, that's mixed up raw, A-R-W. Okay, um, every camera manufacturer actually has a different extension for all. There's not a generic one. The generic one is DNG for a digital negative. It is still a raw file, okay? They're just called something different. Nikon, like have NEF for a Nikon raw file. Clearly that is Sony, ARW. Canon have like mm, CRW and CR2 and CR3. So you'll get used to whatever your camera raw file is. It'll be right next to the JPEG. <laughs> It'll be something. So I'm gonna bring in all four of those. I'm gonna bring it into an album. I'm gonna put it into none album. It's gonna dump ours into Lightroom. And depending on yours, okay, it'll probably default to show me all the photos that have been put in just now, okay? Or you can see all the photos that are in Lightroom. I'm gonna look at the ones just now to tidy it up. And then let's get these two. These two, these are really good examples. So there's my JPEG and there's my ARW. So let's open up the ARW version, okay, the raw file. Double click it and I'm going to go to my settings and all I'm gonna do is drag the exposure. Like it's a cool shot, I love it, okay? But let's just say you wanna go back in time and you're like, actually, I wanna bring in some of the, look, surprise, loads of information, okay, that was potentially lost, okay? That is all in and around here. But let's do the same thing to the JPEG. So down the film strip, if you can't see the film strip, click on this. Okay, go to the JPEG version. Okay, how do you know it's the JPEG version? Because we started on the raw format. <laughs> it's not super easy. Uh, you can go to the information option down here. That's the JPEG version. That, my friend, is the raw version. JPEG raw, can you see it there? And that is the eyeball there. So I'm gonna go back to editing. I'm gonna go back to this first one. And I'm gonna say, do the same thing with my JPEG. No problem, look, here it comes, here it comes. Ooh, <laughs> it's there. Okay, but it's just not as good. There's just not as much information captured. JPEGs, you'll get away with a load. Okay, and you can do some amazing things just shooting JPEG. You can make some adjustments. It's the big adjustments that you might wanna do that you just can't do in a JPEG format and you need raw. Let's do the same with this one. Okay, which is which? I'm gonna hit my little eye down here. This is the JPEGs first and my raw file is second. So I'm gonna start with my raw file and I'm gonna say edit exposure 
come all the way up. I'm not fixing their photograph, but I'm like, hey, look at that. Some ugly looking cars down there. So <laughs> you probably don't want that. But hey, let's say we do. We need the ugly looking cars. I can drag it all the way up, okay? And then I can click on this same one. Okay, JPEG is the same size. Okay, dimensionally is the same quality shot. There's just not as much information in there. And you're like, well, that looks all right. What's wrong with it? Same, same. Let's have a little look at comparing the two. So we'll do caveman comparing. Let's zoom in. So we've learned the shortcut, Command plus or Control plus on a PC. So do that a few times. A few times, I did it about four. You heard the clicks, <laughs> four or five. And then uh, nothing selected. Okay, and just click and drag this little hand. Okay, and let's find, I don't know, some bits. Let's look at this building here and bit of the trees. And if I just click on this other, the raw version, it will kind of comparably go to the same place. It's pretty clever that way. Look at all the information in here, and it takes a little while to process, so wait. But you can see all of this, there's no color, there's no real tone. It's still grainy because it's, uh, you know, you can't go back and change the ISO, but look at all the information that it did capture amongst the trees and the cars. Those are the cars that we definitely need. And they're actually all right. Oh, look at the Audi badge. Okay, let's have a look at that. It's just a smush <laughs> in JPEG format. So you don't always need it, but it's handy to have. And if you can shoot it, shoot it in RAW. Awesome. Even better, shoot in RAW and JPEG. You'll find most cameras shoot both so that if you just want to go quick and easy and just use JPEGs, awesome. You got them. But if there's that one photograph that you're like, oh, I wish I could get into those, uh, you know, into the bushes a bit better or see some of the internal parts of the image. Look at that versus this one. Ugh. Ah. Oh. All right, that is the end of the video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, give it a like. It helps me out. Uh, also subscribe to the channel because there's lots more Lightroom content where that came from. Uh, if you are sitting there thinking though, I wish you'd just do a course, you know, take me from zero to hero all the way through Lightroom and show me everything. Oh, you're in luck. Uh, I've got something called the Lightroom Essentials course. There'll be a link to it in the description here. Uh, so check that out if you want to go from zero to hero in Lightroom. But for now, carry on, like and subscribe.